Mrs. Wrestling has returned. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match. Introducing first from Riverside, California, Candace LaRay. One of the most decorated female superstars in the world. Surprising ability in such a small package. An up and coming talent in the women's division. If you ask Indy Hartwell herself, Cole, she's not up and coming. Indy believes she is already main event worthy. And from Melbourne, Australia, Indy Hartwell! Been successful her entire career from Australia to NXT, now ready to conquer WWE. You know, it gives Indy Hartwell that advantage is her incredible strength. She almost always has the size advantage inside the ring. Has already seen so much success in NXT and WWE. Yeah, but Cole, Indy Hartwell is only getting better. turned up to 11. You know, Carter and Chance were a team long before NXT even had a women's tag team division. And it's paid off because this team is the team to beat in all of WWE. There is a chill in the air. The arrival of the bewitching duo, Fire and Dawn. The team of Isla Dawn and Fire! Fire and Dawn, not a team you want to cross. Have no problem cursing the competition like actually casting curses. Yeah, you know, Cole, I heard Saxton actually had a full head of hair before he met Alba and Isla. Hey, I still do. A lot of it. The Unholy Union, as dangerous as they are disturbing. Fire and Don ready to conjure up a win. Multiple teams facing off in this Tornado Tag match. In a Tornado Tag situation, you never know how many opponents... And she goes for the pen. Now we see Indy Hartwell. She powers out immediately there. Just looking for ways to wear out her opponent. Great way to break down your opponent. Schoolboy, no, rolls through. And a super kick. That was showing great awareness of positioning, placing yourself between the ref and your opponent. Oh my gosh, what impact. Here's a cover. The pen's broken up. Oh my god! What an inverted Frankensteiner! 
What a devastating poison Rana. That might have changed the landscape of this match. It's Tito! <laughs> a no DQ stipulation means you have to throw your regular playbook out the window. This is not going to save you here. What you doing here, Corey? The colossal clutch. Last nice submission locked in. No, nope. she breaks the hold. You can see the intent behind that attack. Exploring the arm must be the strategy here. Shotgun with precision. Where's the arm in that? Illegal in many sports, but that was used effectively in there. Ah, uh, to the arm. Terrible. Chops down their opponent with a kick to the knee. Building up momentum. Into the arm. Can run. Spike them. Some serious offense. All's fair in love and war, gentlemen. I saw nothing but effective offense. Big knee to the midsection. Carter looked impressive after that. Can she score the pin? There it goes. The team clearly set again. Oh, unloading a big kick to the back. Vicious attack. They outlaw that move from other sports for a reason. Down one. That is great by him. Try to step through. Here it comes. No telling what's underneath the ring tie. I'm not sure there's anything she can. A oh, really target back of the knee. She's able to roll back in her spine and get out of it. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. something else. This is one I won't forget for a long time.